What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mind & Co Yoga. Today I'm going to take you through a really short and sweet 25 minute mobility flow. I cannot wait for you to get on your mat and experience this. This is just really going to open up your body after a long day at work or maybe who knows you had a fun night out and you spent a long time in bed today. So if you need to move your body after being stagnant for a while and just want to explore different ways of moving it, this flow is perfect for you. And today, the drawing of the week is one that I actually did draw today. Um, and it required a lot of persistence for me to draw, which is why I decided to incorporate it in today's flow, because it might require a lot of persistence for you to keep going with this flow. We only run the vinyasa two times, I'm gonna say, and so you have two shots at it. And if you feel discouraged at any point, I encourage you to be resilient and keep trying. So. Anyway, the drawing today is this. And the reason why I say that this drawing took a lot of persistence is because I actually drew a drawing similar to this yesterday and it took me, I kid you not, hours and then it ended up being horrible and I hated it because I really messed up the mountains. I know that's some really strong black and white language, but that's just how I felt in the moment. So lo and behold, today I woke up, I had to be resilient, practice persistence and redraw this again. So. I hope you can take that in today's flow, put on your favorite music, and let's get mobile. All right, everyone. Today, we're actually going to set our sacred space and connect and arrive on our mat with a little bit of movement. Usually, we'll start in a still position, either seated or laying down, but not today. <laughs> so here today, begin on your shins. And intercross your fingers and just inhale. As you move your palms of your hands towards the ceiling, your back takes a slight arch and your chin lifts two inches. As you exhale, push back up your palms towards the ceiling and then wrap it around you like you're pulling a blanket over your back in front of you, pushing your palms out directly through your chest, rounding your back, tucking your chin. Inhale, reverse, take an arch. Exhale round. Maybe you'll close your eyes here so you can feel into your body a little bit more. Inhale up. Exhale round. One more. Inhale up. Exhale round. From there, just drop your hands down. Your right hand's going to come down to the side. Your left hand's going to sweep up. Inhale here, gaze goes up. Then exhale, lean over to the right side, stretching your left side body. Inhale back through center. Exhale, switch your hands. Left goes down, right goes high. Take one inhale as you reach up for the sky. Exhale as you swing over to the left, stretching your right side body. Inhale back through center. Bring your left hand to meet your right at the top. And then exhale, cactus your arms, take a slight back bend. Inhale back through center. Exhale, meet me in a tabletop position. Your shoulders over your wrists, your knees underneath your hips. Inhale, drop your belly low. Cow pose. Exhale, round. Inhale up. For cow, exhale round for cat. Really making sure that you're creating space within your shoulder blades, pushing the floor away from you, tucking your chin. Inhale up, exhale round. Inhale back to neutral. Bring your right hand out in front of you and your left leg behind you, lifting your left leg off of the floor, flex into that left foot. And then exhale, round, elbow to knee in your center chest. Inhale out. Exhale, this time bend your left knee. Try to reach back with your right hand. Kick into your right hand. You'll feel a stretch in your shoulder. Your gaze can be down for stability or up for a balance challenge. Good job. Exhale out. Take an inhale, reset. And then exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale out. Exhale, grab your foot. Inhale out. Exhale, crunch. 
Inhale out. Exhale, grab your foot. Inhale back through center. Exhale, neutral tabletop position. Shake out your hips. And then right away, inhale, lift your right hand up, your left or your left arm and your right leg up. And exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, reach behind, grab your foot, kick into your hand. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, out. Exhale, reach back and grab. Inhale, out. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, out. Exhale, reach back and grab. Inhale, out. Exhale, back to neutral tabletop. And wiggle out your hips. And then inhale, drop your belly. Your gaze goes up. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. And then exhale, untuck your toes, send it into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels off the mat. Exhale, lower them back down. Maybe your chest goes further towards your thighs. Your gaze is at your navel or in between your thighs. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale as you shift your weight over to the right side. And as you exhale, bend into your right knee. Maybe your left will bend too. Sending your butt towards your right heel. Your left hand will come to lift. You're taking the left side body stretch. Inhale back through center. Exhale over to the left. Putting your weight into your left hand. Bending your butt towards your heels. Inhale back through center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale through center, last one, exhale to the left. Inhale back to regular downward facing dog. Exhale, try to lower your heels, lower your chest towards your thighs, tuck your chin. Then inhale, rounding from, starting from your sacrum and actually Pushing the rest of your vertebrae up, round just like you wave into a high plank. Once you're in a high plank, hold here. Try to push the ground away from you even more, creating more space in your shoulder blades. Inhale, shift your weight forward over your fingertips. Exhale, shift it back. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, holding forward, lower down, halfway, chaturanga, and then inhale, upward facing dog. Pressing the shoelace side of your feet into the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips go high. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, go on your tippy toes, bend your knees. Exhale, jump forward into a forward fold. Your hands land in between, or your feet land in between your hands, and then inhale, halfway lift, flat back, Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, raise your arms up all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Some steep heat. Close your eyes. Spread all ten toes on the mat. Press your palms together. Engage your quads. And welcome to your mat. Inhale, blink open your eyes. Your arms sweep over your head. Gaze goes up. Exhale, come crashing back down. Bend your right knee, your right hand plants. Inhale, your left arm goes high. Exhale, option to go for the bind, bending your left hand to your right thigh. Inhale, release, back up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Your right foot stays down, your right hand stays down, extended side angle. You can either hold here or if that's not comfortable, you can bring elbow to knee. Inhale as your gaze shifts up. Exhale, holding 90 degrees in your right leg. Your left arm sits over you, reverse warrior two. Inhale up. And exhale back to extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Whoa, maybe you fall over if you're like me. Exhale back to extended side angle. Good news, every inhale is a chance to start again. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reverse warrior two. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale as you gaze back towards your back foot. Exhale, skandasana to the back. Let's open up those hips, flexing your right foot, engaging your right quad. Inhale, arms swoop open, extend your wings. Exhale, go for the bind. Inhale, pull your right shoulder back. And exhale, release, moving now to the front of your mat. Inhale as you lift your chest up, hands come to heart center. Exhale, skandasana towards the front. Beautiful, holding here, take a big inhale. And exhale, let's drop onto our left hip. Our right knee turns in, so we're kind of in a half forward fold. Lean your chest over your left knee. Inhale as you lift halfway, flatten your back, flex your foot, and then exhale, lower down. All right, tapping into the mobility. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your right knee. And then exhale, lower. We're just gonna do three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Planting the right sole of your foot on the ground. Exhale, lower. One last time, inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower halfway. Enjoy the stretch here. Enjoy opening up your hamstring. Take one more inhale as you gaze towards the top of your mat. And then exhale, bend into your left knee for a lunge towards the back of your mat. Your left knee is in front, facing the back. Arms come up to center. Beautiful. And then exhale, drop your right knee three times. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Your gaze can go up towards your hands. Inhale up, exhale lower. Beautiful. Inhale up. And as you exhale, arms come down beside you, straighten your front leg and your back leg. Holding here for pyramid pose. Your chest goes towards your thighs. Take an inhale as you lift your right arm high to the sky. Exhale as you pull your torso up with that right hand so your left hand isn't really putting a lot of weight onto your leg or the ground. You're more so using your muscles to hold you up to assist you in the stretch. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, gaze down, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, and your right leg goes up for revolve half moon. Take an inhale. And exhale, hold. One more inhale. Exhale, drop that left hand. Right leg goes high for standing split. Hold here or option to take handstand tops. Inhale as you bend into your left leg. Exhale, kick up with your right. Take three at your own pace. And then whenever you're ready, you can go down, meet me in downward facing dog or move through your vinyasa, your chaturanga. Nice work. Inhale as you lift your heels. Gaze goes towards the top of your mat. Bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Facing the back of your mat now. It's okay if you can't see me on the screen. Know that you've done this before. Just trust your body. Trust your listening skills. And know you can always look backward if you need to. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Gaze goes out in front of you. Flat back. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, arms sweep over your head, stand up tall, gaze goes up. Exhale, hands come to heart center in prayer, close your eyes. Spread all 10 toes on the mat. Press your palms together, lower your shoulders. One more inhale here. Exhale, let it out through your mouth. Inhale, blink open your eyes. Exhale, fold back down, forward fold. This time, bend into your left knee, plant your left hand down and lift your right arm up so you're in that twisted forward fold. Gaze can go up on the inhale. Exhale, option to go for the half bind, wrapping your right hand around to your left thigh. I forgot the word for thigh real quick. Sorry, it came around. Take another inhale. Exhale, step your right foot back, bending into that left knee, extended side angle towards the back of your mat, your right hand over your right ear, 
Take an inhale to pull that right shoulder back. Exhale to hold. Inhale as you reverse warrior two. Your left hand goes over your head. Exhale, extend a side angle. Inhale, pull yourself up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, pull yourself up. Exhale, back down. Holding here for one inhale. Exhale, gaze to the front of your mat now, and then skandasana towards the front, bending into that right leg. Inhale, your arms open wide. Your gaze goes up. Exhale, go for the bind. Inhale, gaze goes up, left shoulder pulls back. Exhale, release the bind, skandasana back towards the front of the mat, bending into that left leg. Take an inhale here, lift your chest. Exhale, lower onto your right hip, your left knee lowers for this half forward fold. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale to fold down over your right knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Awesome, let's tap into mobility once more, showing her body what it can truly do. Inhale to lift up. Your left knee comes off of the floor. Exhale, turn your hip back in, lower it down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. You can forward fold back over your right leg. Inhale, to halfway lift. Exhale, bending into that right leg, lunging towards the front of your mat. Your right knee is at 90 degrees. Inhale, arms sweep over your head. Gaze can go up. Exhale, drop that left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lengthen. Last one. Exhale, drop. Good job. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Pyramid pose or triangle pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall back down. Your feet are parallel like they're on train tracks, so all of your toes are pointing towards the front of your mat. Drop your right arm. Inhale your left arm high. Inhale. As you pull your torso up with that left hand, your right hand might come off of the mat a little bit. Ooh, I am not very sturdy today. That's okay, though. And as you exhale, your gaze goes back down towards the front of the mat. Drop your left hand down. Right hand goes high. Your left leg lifts off of the floor. Revolve half moon. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hold. There are some angry people out there today. I don't know if you guys hear the honking, but I'm in Seattle and <laughs> it's a little bit different. Take another inhale. Exhale back to standing split. All right, option to hold standing split or inhale to bend into that supporting right leg. Exhale, your three handstand hops. I'm actually thinking about doing a video on how to handstand, so keep an eye out for that probably next week. All right, go ahead, your chaturanga, your vinyasa, and meet me in downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. Inhale as you gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale into pigeon pose so your right knee comes to your right elbow, your right ankle to your left wrist. Lower down. First, let's just get comfortable here in pigeon pose. Stretch your hips a little bit. I want you to enjoy this pose for a second before we get into the mobility of it. Go ahead, inhale, lift your body up, and then exhale, engage your glutes, and try to balance in pigeon pose just without using your hands. Maybe your hands go to your foot, to your right foot and your right thigh, or maybe you have blocks here to help you. Whatever feels good, I just want it to be an active stretch and kind of incorporate some balance. Take another inhale. 
Exhale, you can lower. Nice work. Go ahead, plant your hands back down. Meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Take an inhale as you lift your heels. Exhale, lower them. Inhale, gaze goes towards the top of the mat. Exhale, pigeon pose on the left side. So left knee to your left wrist, left ankle on the side of your right wrist. It might not be there exactly. Enjoy this pose for three breaths. So go ahead, inhale to lift your chest and exhale to lower as much as it suits you. All right, then inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, release your hands from the floor. Try to balance and pigeon pose to really open up your hips. We're gonna be here for two breaths. Relax your eyebrows, they're not helping you here. <laughs> Relax your shoulders. Just engage your core and your thighs. One more breath. Exhale, plant your hands back down, downward facing dog. Nice work. We're gonna run through the whole flow one more time. We're gonna do breath to movement. So one breath, one movement. You're welcome to, of course, do it more if you would like. But for the sake of this being a quick flow, we are just going to really tap in to our mindfulness and our focus and make the most out of this. So inhale, lift your heels, gaze goes towards the top of your mat, bend your knees, exhale forward fold. Inhale, drop your right hand, bend your right knee, left arm goes up, exhale, go for the bind. Inhale as your gaze shifts down, exhale as you step back for extended side angle. Inhale, reverse, warrior two, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, gaze shifts back, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, open your arms, exhale, go for the bind. Inhale, gaze goes towards the front, release the bind, exhale towards the front, skandasana. Inhale, lift your chest, drop your right knee, and then exhale, lower over your right or your left leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right sole of your foot plants on the ground, your right knee lifts. Inhale to hold, exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower, immediately going into that low lunge towards the back of the mat. And then inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, drop your knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, revolve, half moon. Take another inhale here. Exhale, standing split. This time only one handstand hop. Inhale to bend into that left leg. Exhale, trot your best. And then meet me in downward facing dog, your vinyasa. Right away, inhale, lift your heels. Gaze goes towards the top of the mat, bend the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, drop your left hand. Bend your left knee, right arm goes up. Exhale, wrap your right arm around for the bind. Inhale, undo the bind. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, revolve or reverse. Warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, gaze goes towards the top back of the mat. I guess top, back now. <laughs> Exhale, skandasana into your right leg. Inhale, spread open your arms. Exhale, go for the bind. Inhale to lift up, release the bind, gaze goes towards the back of your mat. Exhale, skandasana towards the back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower that left knee. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, lower over your right knee. Inhale, lift your chest once more. Exhale, your left sole of the foot plants on the mat, your left knee goes up. You can inhale to hold, exhale, lower. Inhale up, exhale lower, inhale up, exhale lower. Immediately going into that low lunge towards the front of your mat now, 90 degrees in your right leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, lower your back knee. Inhale up, exhale lower, 
Inhale up. Exhale lower. One more. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. As you drop your left hand now, right hand goes high for revolved half moon. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower your hands down. One chance for a handstand hop. Inhale into that right leg. Exhale, push up. Your vinyasa, meet me in downward facing dog, however you would like. Once you're in downward facing dog, inhale, lift your heels, gaze goes towards the top of the mat, bend your knees, exhale, meet me on seated position, your legs out in front of you, your back up straight. Inhale as you lift your arms up, exhale, lean forward for a seated forward fold. Holding here for two more breaths. Feel the heartbeat in your chest, let it return to normal. Know that persistence will get you far. Inhales, you lift halfway. Exhale, scoot your butt forward. <laughs> Lay on your back, bring your knees into your chest. Gently rock out your knees. Maybe swaying left to right. Inhale your right into your chest, your left leg long. And exhale, cross it over, supine twist. No need to force anything here. Know that you've already done all the work. It's just time to let your body Integrate it all back into your nervous system, your subconscious, your confidence. Inhale back to center. Both knees into your chest. Exhale, right leg long, left knee stays. Inhale to pull that left knee into your chest a little bit closer. Then exhale, cross it over, supine twist. Take a big inhale back through center. Both knees come to your chest. Wrap your hands on the pinky edge side of your feet and exhale into happy baby. Sway left and right, massaging out your back. You know that even though today's flow wasn't very long, doing these movements, these complex movements, actually will help you and still do benefit you, especially after a long day at work, whether you're sitting or standing for a long time, just inviting movement that we don't usually do into our body. Keeps us sharp. <laughs> Keeps our gray matter and our brain building a little bit more, promoting longevity. Go ahead and inhale back through center, your knees into your chest. And exhale, Shavasana. Your legs can go out long, or soles of your feet can touch, or a butterfly Shavasana, as I like to call it. <laughs> Hands can be out beside you, or one hand on your heart, one on your belly. Just hold here. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw and your shoulders. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Be proud of yourself today for being persistent, being resilient, for showing up and inviting playfulness into your flow. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. 
And inhale your hands over your head for a good morning stretch. And exhale your knees, come into your chest, creating a little ball. Rock up and down along your back. And whenever you're ready with your eyes still heavy in a seated position at the front of your mat. Bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand on your knee, palm facing up. May we allow all the good things coming our way, entering through our left hand. May we return them tenfold back into our surroundings and the world around us, leading through our right hand. Thank you guys so much for letting me share this mobility flow with you. I hope you use the rest of the day to fill your mind with good company.